hello students let's start with a new chapter that is torsion in torsion we will learn about the assumptions made in the theory of torsion let's start with the introduction part and learn what is meant by torsion this chapter is devoted to the study of members subjected to twisting or torsion members like shaft when rotated are subjected to torsion shafts are mainly used to connect the machine to the motor or engine the connecting shaft is therefore under the action of torsion as the motion is transferred from one rotating unit to the other so what is been done if we are having a shaft so if you apply the moment at both the ends in the opposite direction a twisting action takes place and that twisting action is also known as torsion we shall first understand the theory of pure torsion and then derive the relation for pure torsion the connection of two shafts or a shaft with the pulley is done by using the connectors like key and coupling along with the shaft this connectors are also subjected to shear stress while transmitting the torque so when the torque is been transmitted it is also subjected to shear stresses finally shafts though mainly subjected to torsion are also subjected to bending so along with the torsion bending is also been present in the shaft due to the self weight and also due to the weight of the pulleys or gears they support so next is pure torsion a shaft subjected to two equal and opposite turning moment at its end is said to be in pure torsion the twisting moment or the torque is same throughout the shaft length in this image we can see that ab is the shaft and two equal and opposite moments are been applied at end a and b this twisting moment or torque is same throughout the length of the shaft consider a shaft of length l fixed at one end and free at other end let the twisting moment t be applied at the end b so we are applying a moment that is t at free end so over here i have applied the moment this is the moment which i have applied at end b the fixed end a generates a resisting torque of the same magnitude t but in the opposite sense the entire shaft is under the action of torque t and is said to be in pure torsion so when we apply a twisting moment at b a resisting moment at a is generated and this moment will be same in magnitude but opposite in direction so the entire shaft is under the action of torque t assumptions made in the derivation of torsion equation the material of the shaft is homogeneous and isotropic throughout its length now what is homogeneous it has same elastic property throughout so the elastic property is same throughout the shaft and isotropic that is it is having a physical property which has the same value when measured in different direction throughout its length circular sections remain circular and plane that is they do not wrap so this is the most important term to understand that the shaft do not wrap the twisting moment t acts in a plane perpendicular to the shaft axis so the twisting moment is acting perpendicular to the shaft axis at any section the radial lines remains straight hooke's law is valid that is the shear stresses generated do not exceed the proportional limit value and every diameter of the material should rotate 
to the same angle once the shaft is rotating then the every material or every element of the shaft rotates to the same angle thank you